time, Bob Wood. Fish wars on the school kill. If you would have come here back there during the colonial era, you would have found plenty of fish in these streams, even the little stream like the Swamp Creek out here, the Perkyum and the Schuylkill. In the spring, in particular, there would be shad runs in Delaware and the Schuylkill. And shad fishing, well, there were shad, there were sturgeon, there were rockfish and others, um, was not a small industry. The shad, one shad fishery might get two or 3,000 fish in that Chad were a large fish, sort of about the size of a medium-sized carp, and uh, they were very desirable and very saleable. In any event, to catch them, they would put weirs and weirs and dams and pickets that in, the, in the river that would direct the fish along here into a net or into a trap or a basket. The problem is there was also a lot of freight traffic in the school kill at that time. Now we're talking 1730, 1740, something like that. Um, they had large dugout canoes made from poplar trees. William Penn says he saw one, ca one, from one, one canoe from one tree carrying two tons of bricks, or another was 150 bushels of wheat. I find that hard to believe, but nevertheless, they were big and they carried a lot of freight. And, but generally, they came downstream from Redding uh, area in Berks County down through toward Philadelphia. So they hit these weirs and pickets and dams and almost upset and trouble with them and one thing and another. So they went to a court in Philadelphia and they got an injunction against these fishermen. And there's where the trouble started because the, 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 the freight men came along to tear out these pickets and dams. The, the, the uh, fishermen were on the shore throwing rocks and curses and it went back and forth like this for quite a while. Eventually a, a sheriff came out with a little posse to break these dams and things up and there was a fight and it was quite a hot time for a while. Well, eventually things settled down. But uh, the fishing kind of ended, uh, at least in, in 1821, they put a dam across the school kill uh, at the Fairmont Water Works for a water wheel to pump water up to the reservoir, and that ended the fish runs. Uh, there's more about this on uh, an article called Fish Wars in the School Kill, uh, which is available on the uh, Kashinopin website.